All right, hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Real, Real PLC. PLC. Hey, often imitated, never duplicated. Us, hey, this is y'all know one thing that we don't do around here is we don't half step. No, and take uh, four step. I'm gonna go ahead and let you know, <laughs> Coach Graham hooked us up with an absolute banger of an episode today. For sure, she did not hold we, back with a, a two for one episode. Two, two, two for, for one. one special. Two for one special. There we go, ladies and go. gentlemen, boys and girls around the world. Y'all get your get your paper out. <laughs> Get something to write with. We're going to have an absolute joy in here today. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kitty and Charlie Key. Hey. 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 Welcome to the Real PLC, Welcome ladies. to the show. Thank you for y'all. having us. Yeah. We're so excited to be here. We Thank are. So We're probably going to talk over each other and say the same things at times. Yeah. That's well, what I've what already just been here and that. That, that is so cool. <laughs> I was like, thank you. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. But like we said, even before we went on air, like thank you all for just sitting down with us and just sharing your story with us. Um, just a chance for us to be human. <laughs> laugh together. If you're anything like me and Coach Williams and some of the guests, we've yeah. laughed, cried, laughed some more, cried some more. Yeah. It's just a a chance for just in in our world just to be human and have mm -hmm. a little fun. Yeah, uh, I love that. So uh, it's a, it's a pretty scripted conversation. Um, every now and then we'll chase rabbits and we'll kind of see what happens <laughs> yeah. and uh, good. uh we'll just have a have a blast. Like I'm, I'm like uh you know last last episode uh um, Quay Body our interim mayor he was right. like he's like man is it is it like Christmas, like I'm so excited. <laughs> like, I, I, I like all, the, all morning. The juice was there, man. All morning, I've just been like, all right, this is gonna be fun. This yeah. is gonna be fun. So um, let's get this thing started. Yeah, uh, let's let's, let's, let's let's start at the very beginning. Like, where are y'all from? We're oh. from right here in Lagrange. Yeah, we're from Lagrange, Georgia. Born and raised. Um, yeah, we're two of six kids. Yeah, two uh, of six. Oh, yes, wow. so there's a, there's a lot of us in our family. Okay. Very big extended family too. Um, yeah, we definitely live. By the motto, family's not an important thing, it's everything. That's kind uh, of what our grandparents have um, taught us, and that's what yeah, it is for us, too. It's made so. us who we are, for sure. Yeah. Family Heck yeah. is everything. <laughs> Heck yeah. So, uh, so homegrown. Yes. Where, where'd you go to school? Oh, like you, high school? Is that like just, the, just start. Let's like, start with elementary school. Yeah, elementary school. We, well, we both went to Hall's Hand Elementary. <laughs> okay. Okay. We live right around the corner yep. from it. So, <laughs> so we went, I mean, I went there from you know, like pre-K through fifth grade, and then okay. Kitty did the same. Um, and then, I mean, we kind of split off. You can tell your story since, like, you're older, and it's just like... Yeah. Like, <laughs> you go, you yeah, you go first, because you're, you're more far along than I am. I'm going to go first. <laughs> more more <laughs> far <laughs> along? No, no, not in that way. <laughs> just like, is that an old joke? No, no it's not an old joke. I'm really She's, old. No. I'm 50 years old. Um, <laughs> that's not old. Sorry, if anyone is 50, that's terrible. That's old for me. Never mind. <laughs> this is going great. <laughs> um, no, so uh, we both went to Hollis Hand, and then I went to Garter Newman okay. Middle School. So I feel like we're rivals, aren't we? Is that like Callaway and Garter Newman? Are they rivals? Like Lagrange so, and Callaway? I don't really or is that more Troop? I would I would oh. say that's more probably a Long King. Okay. Garden Newman. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what I thought. I was like, I'm not getting yeah. that vibe from y'all. Ca Callaway's no, kind of, yeah. yeah. You're right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Ca Callaway doesn't really have, like, the in-county thing no. like LaGrange and Troop does. <laughs> no, but it's not really. But yeah, I went to Garden Newman, and then I went to LaGrange High School for one year, okay. and then I went to Springwood School, which is in Lynette, Alabama. Okay. And that's where she goes now. That's where yeah. we all go. So. Yeah, so I went to Springwood in sixth grade because okay. um, Kitty had started going there by the time it was time for me to go to middle school, so... Um, oh, I went to more school. But yeah. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm a senior at, at Springwood School okay. right now, and I'll go to the University of Alabama next year. Awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. You. Speaking of college, I yes. graduated and went to Point Park University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania okay. for the performing arts. So. Cool, cool. Heck yeah. What so, did. what was it like to transition from six, what middle school? Were you at Garner Newman as well? No, no. You went like went elementary to, to Springwood. Oh, to Springwood. Mm -hmm. So what was that transition like for you? I mean, you like, went public to private. Yeah. <laughs> like, overnight. It, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Same here, though. Yeah. 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 Like, what, what was that transition? It was definitely different because all of the all of the people that I had grown up with throughout elementary school and everyone I went to church with, because I still live here in LaGrange. Um, yeah. Right. Just every, it was, I was stepping into a whole new environment where I really didn't know anyone. Yeah. But uh, I ended up loving it. I still love it. It's a very small school, and I and I do like that because it helps you become closer and more like family with your teachers and with your uh, with your friends. Um, and so I've definitely been very grateful for Springwood. It was a a different transition, but I think that 
if you're not uncomfortable ever, you're never going to grow. Mm. Um, and so it definitely helped me grow as as an individual, even just in sixth grade. <laughs> Heck yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. I actually did some uh, student teaching at Springwood when I was in college. Really? Oh. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I, I graduated from Point University. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, part of our lab was we had to go over and I had to like tutor oh, over wow. there. And so that was uh, that was really interesting. Yeah. yeah. good kids. <laughs> yeah. I, I, it, was, it wasn't really bad. It, it didn't hit me until... When I came into like Callaway, um, mm-hmm. there was a guy that was here, and uh, he was like, I remember you. And I was like, oh, I probably played against him in high school or whatever. He said, no, you were tutoring a kid at Springwood, and I was a student there. And I was like, I'm old. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that man. Funny. I was like, no, don't hit me with the age. Not the age. So the let's age. step outside of school. What's what's going on in, in at home, at, at, at in life, in personal life? What, what, are, what are some things that you – you ladies are involved in and, and enjoy. Well, you want to go? For we could go a lot of ways. Which yeah. way are you thinking of going? Um, well, okay, so we're Kitty. going up. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, what you, story you're telling? Were, were y'all doing like any like sports? Yeah. Like what? Yeah. what, is, oh, what I mean, is, lots of things going. There's on. lots. I of mean, things. Um, yeah. so I mean, I'm a senior in high school, so okay. I'm yep. still. I'm playing soccer. Well, we just finished our season this week. Um, but it was, so a, done tough, with it was a tough time. It was a tough loss. It was a playoff tough game time. loss in, uh, you know, a senior year. So it's really sad yeah. when sports yeah. yeah. and the like girls that are just and, not, they don't, don't always get there. We I don't, love you. We don't you do the win. best. Last year we made the final four, though, and it was really <laughs> yeah. exciting. Oh, that's cool. Not this that year. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. And it really, you know, I mean, the. I believe that like God has a time for everything, yeah. and so this time has just ended in my life. Yeah. Um, but done SGA stuff. But Kitty and I are a, mm-hmm. a country sister music duo. Yeah, we are. Um, called Kit and Char. Kit and Char. <laughs> Kit and Char. <laughs> Shirts on, you yeah. can't see them, but um, it's Kit and Char. But yeah, so do you want to talk a little bit about that? Sure. Yeah, we. I feel like that's the big thing that's going on in our mm-hmm. life right now, and yeah. like with our family too. They, like I said, family's everything, and they're super supportive of Charlie and I, and they help us live out these dreams that we have um but we started singing together over a year ago and we've always been really close and then we never like we sang together but not like in this capacity and we're like okay let's just do it let's see what happens we ended up auditioning for american idol and um we made it. Yeah. <laughs> what she's Sorry, trying to say. Is, <laughs> also, you'll learn that, like, I may be the older sister, but my words don't always come out right. And Charlie helps them make sense. So we're no, on the right side of the out. table. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's my guy. We'll put the extroverts over here. I'm more of an introvert. Look, I don't know if you are. But look, don't, we can look a little, don't let the podcast and the job fool you. I'm introverted to the <laughs> max. It's my job requires me to be an extrovert. Same here. Same here with my job. I'm an, yeah. I'm an introvert, but yet I can get on any stage and sing whatever you want me to sing. Oh, yeah. oh you best believe when it's t- when it's quitting time. Yeah. Like You're I'm quitting. out of people coins. Like yes. I'm, I'm that, done. That is so, I'm that is done. Me. I love that's, talking to people. <laughs> no. Like me and my wife are polar opposites. She's one of those. She wakes up and like every time inter- every interaction she gets a people coin. Yeah. Yes. My interactions I lose coins, and so at the end of the day I'm just like. God, yeah. <laughs> what do we do? She's like, don't you want to like, like go and like sit? And I'm like, no, no. I want to sit my butt on the couch and veg out on Netflix. That's what I want to do. <laughs> that's that, that's that's that's, that's me. Yeah. yeah, we bounce each other out though that way. Yeah, Heck but, yeah, awesome. But what she was saying is, um, we <laughs> we got to audition for Luke Bryan, Katy Perry, and Lionel Richie for mm-hmm. um, American Idol. Yeah, we did and that in October. So. November. November. Just kidding. Yeah. What yeah. city is this? Uh, Nashville. In Nashville. Nashville. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so. We were just super excited to be able to go as sisters. Uh, mm-hmm. Super, we got to sing together, which is uh, you don't really see duos on American Idol, no. so yeah. that was really cool. But of course, they did make us sing separately because yeah. it is an individual competition. Right. Um, and Kitty ended up getting a golden ticket to Hollywood. Hey, yo. Um, so hey. <laughs> super proud of her. She really she conquered that for sure. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. But congratulations on that. Yeah, that's and now we've just we're singing all over the place. We're singing somewhere tonight. We got mm-hmm. two shows on Saturday. We're um. Yeah, that's what's going on. Yeah, we we love music. So what what has life been like? Because y'all just so casually just yeah, yeah it's American Idol. Just American. <laughs> Lionel Richie. You know, Lionel Who's Richie. Who's that guy? Luke Bryan, Katy Perry. You'll learn that we're like very like 
it's I don't know. So humble, like yeah. humble the cow. just like yeah. That's what people say. We just don't like to. It's like, it's like yeah, you know, I, I got to, you know, we talked to the superintendent. Like, like, <laughs> yeah. 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 Cool, cool. Like, so, like, what is what has life been like post American Idol? Like, what, like, what opportunities and what craziness has ensued? I guess. Yeah. Oh. Well, you went to Hollywood. Yeah, so. I did go to Hollywood. Um, I still, it's still hard for me to remember that I know that sounds weird but I felt like it was such I was there for almost a week and it was just all the adrenaline you know just a rush yeah it was an adrenaline rush every single day um I sat in a chair like with camera crews all around on like the set for eight to twelve hours a day and you got really close to the people beside you that's yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> they became some of my good friends and I'm, I'm thankful for them and they did move on to the next rounds and so I was able to see them and vote for them and right. all that stuff um but that was a I've had a really big like life transition yeah. <laughs> um right now because I i performed at Dollywood for about two years. So I lived in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Beautiful. And I had my own life. Like, you know what I mean? I was living alone. I was mm. doing that thing, um, finding my independence that way. And then American Idol came. I I left Dollywood because I actually went to go work for Norwegian Cruise Lines for a little bit. Um, <clears throat> and then American Idol happened. And then all this happened. And I was like, you know what? I'm finally going to live out that dream that I've always been afraid to live because there is so much unknown with it and it's just trying to become like a solo artist on mm-hmm. my own but with Charlie too of course <laughs> not not like that it's with my sister but just live that dream out because a lot of the people I met told me that it's just going to take you like putting it all out there and going yeah. all in mm-hmm. for this and yeah. taking risk and seeing what happens and that's hard for me because my yeah. personality is very like I need to know everything that's going to yes. happen I have to plan for everything and this is, I mean, I'm back at home, which is great. It's time that I've, I've been away from home for a very long time. So it's nice to have the time back with my family. Sports center, man. Sports center. <laughs> Stay connected. <laughs> As you should. As you should. But, um, yeah, so it's just been a, it's been a different transition, but one that I'm thankful for. So you're a performer, singer performer on mm-hmm. uh, Cruise Line? Yeah, I did. I I haven't gone on the cruises yet. I was there for a month just in the rehearsal process. So I had to learn every single female role in four shows. Holy cow. Um, Because I was called a rehearsal swing. Thankfully, I never had to go on (laughs) and perform because I probably would have lost my mind. (laughs) But I did spend every single rehearsal day with them. We had one day off a week. um, And yeah, yeah, it was fun. So what has life been like for you? Post American Idol, yeah. Because I mean, you so like you go back into like adult life. Mm-hmm. You I go do. back into being a high school senior, <laughs> yeah. which is like, fun. Charlie loves, loves it. it. I love high school. <laughs> I mean, like I mean, I'm sure that's got to be. I don't know if I could have done that as a high school senior. I'd have lost my mind. Yeah. So like, how how did you handle that? Yeah, well, I I still had a lot going on, kind of, because um, I'm Miss Georgia's teen right now in the Miss America system, uh, like with pageants. Just a, and so, y'all are, <laughs> just, y'all are so <laughs> humble. It's There's sickening. <laughs> just, I was wondering when she was going to tell you that. I was like, it's probably going to happen now. Yes, well, <laughs> so right after, she does a lot in a good way. Holy yeah. cow. After um, American Idol, it, it it worked out perfect that um, mm-hmm. just the timing of everything because as soon as I was done with that in November, uh, it was time to like ramp up preparation for Miss America's teen. Uh, mm-hmm. So I did that in early January. Um, I had to miss like a week of school, which was kind of kind of rough, but um, I made up all the work and stuff. But I ended up placing in the top ten, which was super exciting. And that Ooh. whole week just taught me a lot yeah. about myself and about high stress situations and just learning to lean on God. Um, because when you're in high pressure situations, like there is no other choice but to lean on God. Yeah. <laughs> um, Thank and you. so, um, and so, yeah, that, that's what happened after immediately after American Idol. And then after that, I've just went straight into soccer season and just trying to enjoy all the little moments of high school. I, I love, that's Charlie for you right yeah. there in a nutshell. Yo, just, just, Oh, you know, just Miss America, <laughs> American <laughs> Idol, yeah. soccer. soccer. Like, what? I love soccer. <laughs> like, holy cow. She so does love soccer. She, yeah. she does a lot. She picked up litter this morning with the youth council. So Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> she too. goes everywhere. <laughs> Jeez, you're man. just a busy body. That's awesome. I love Especially it, because though. you're, you know, you're still in school. Yeah. Um, and you're not complacent with your schedule. 
You're, you're constantly going and grinding, and I yeah. think that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah. She's yeah. the younger that's sister, but I always tell her that like I look up to her in so many ways, and she <laughs> inspires me like on the daily, like how she lives life, and I am more of a worrier, which I'm fine with. I don't claim I'm like I don't say you're a worrier, you know, but I do. My brain's different than her brain, but mm -hmm. um, you know, like we were saying earlier, we balance each other out yeah, and we, we do. help each other. She helps me think about things because <laughs> I'm kind of the one that's just gonna be like oh let's do it let's the do it. impulsive yeah. one. <laughs> and I'm For like sure. well we have this 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 do you think really we can fit yeah. that in? so in my <laughs> mind so there's our boys soccer team is playing state championship tonight okay and we have a gig tonight and there was part of my brain that was like what if I took my car to Columbus to see us sing the game starts at eight our gig ends at nine and then I rush to Montgomery to go watch the game that's just not possible. Nah. This is not going to happen. Yeah, in my mind, it's working. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me rationalize this real quick. Yeah. <laughs> let me just say that mom's not going to let you do I that. Know. I know. <laughs> See, I, you help me think about things, and yeah. I just... Just don't even waste your breath exactly. on that Exactly. I didn't. I didn't. Sorry. <laughs> Keith's like, I'm, I'm not, like, not going to let you do that. And by the way, right. mom ain't letting fly <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. So... Uh, just as a high school teacher, I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm thinking, okay, if I had a student come up to me and say, hey, Coach Reed, I got Miss America. Oh, and by the way, I got American Idol. <laughs> yeah. One, you, y'all are outstanding humans in general. So, like, it would be easy for me to work with that. But, like, yeah. how, how did you manage school? Like, how do you manage school and all that? And not lose your sanity, because <laughs> I, I would yeah. like I would lose my mind. So like, how how do, how does the school work with you? Mm -hmm. the, my school is thankfully very very supportive of everything yeah. that uh, Kitty and I've been doing. Mm -hmm. That uh, just all the things they're very they. They were very willing to help me with my schedule and uh, not giving me zeros just because I wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> they would yeah. let me. They would let me make up the work and then Thank turn you. it in, um, kind of on on my own time as long as I got it in. Yeah. Um, and so, it, they were very good in that sense. And then I think another thing is just learning how to take it one thing at a time. Because yeah. if I think about everything all at once, I do get very overwhelmed and yeah. then it's just craziness. But uh, definitely learning to take it one step at a time like one day okay today i'm gonna try to do this and yeah. then um and then also just i've been really trying to just live in the moment too because it yeah. is senior year i do want to make memories with my friends and just enjoy all the little moments and so um being able to just try to i don't know take everything as it comes and also prioritizing things i've learned that uh throughout the years because i've always been pretty busy and yeah. So learning that I don't need to try to balance things in my life because then I'm just going to I'm going to burn out. But if I prioritize things like my first priority is God, then my family, then school and then pageants or whatever it is, yeah. um, it helps me put all of my energy to the things that matter most. And then everything just kind of trickles down from there. And ain't no way we talking to a high school. Man, ain't anyway. no way. I wish I would have. You should have been telling me that. I'm sorry. I, 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 Look, I, I'm sorry. I, I told you that. I've been sitting here being like, well, I need to learn how to you, balance relationships and like you, careers. And then you heard, <laughs> you heard the priority list. I know. Yeah. Well, now I know. I'm just being silly, but like for real, like now I know. Thank you Yay. for that. Holy Woo. cow. That's awesome. Yeah, she's Jeez. wise beyond her years. That's yeah. why I said yeah. I go to her. <laughs> she comes to me too. Yes, we, we, I do. She, you know, I'm still I look there. up to you in every way. So yeah. Which I think is awesome from your standpoint, being mm -hmm. older, because sometimes I think we can get a little stubborn in our yeah. experience and in our age, mm -hmm. and sometimes we'll cut our ears off to someone younger than us. Yeah. But you should definitely not cut your I'm ears off. Trust me, trust me. She for sure helps me through so many things in my life. Right, I, right. And I look up to her, and just the way that she's going full force into this new phase of her life where yeah. she there is so much, so many unknowns really because she's and the way her brain works I know she likes to have a contract I know she likes to have like <laughs> a specific thing of like how her week is gonna go um mm -hmm. but now she's just having to learn how to not have that and just really trust God trust yeah. the things that he has for her and just it's take it a lot time. has like happened a lot of good things have happened so to Charlie and I both especially on this new little journey we're going on um that just reassures me that like this is the plan that God has right now, and that plan could change. It could look way different in a couple months or so, mm -hmm. and that's okay too. But mm -hmm. right now, just like really serving this season and just going all in because yeah. there's a lot of it's been peaceful. Yeah. There have been ups and downs, but yeah. it's been overall like a peaceful feeling about it. Yeah, and I think it, so. that like 
like what you said about serving your season. Mm-hmm. I mean, we I talk, love that. Yeah, <laughs> that just resonated with me. Yes, you know? because. Uh, I mean, we were talking about this at my Bible study at school the other day. It's like God really does have a time for everything. And there's in Ecclesiastes 3, it talks about like uh, there's a time to dance, a time to sing, like a time to be happy, a time to be sad. There's a time for everything and the good and the bad. And yep. so being able to be present right where you are and just live in this moment and serve, do the best that you can with whatever God has given you, whether that's sitting in a class or playing a sport or whatever it is, God's preparing you for something. And you don't necessarily know what that is because mm-hmm. you don't see the full picture, mm-hmm. yeah. but he is He is teaching you something in every phase of your life. Yeah. So yeah. learning to serve that yeah. is important. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not always easy, but no. sometimes you just want to be like, eh. Whatever. I'm done. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> but 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 well, it, that's where the real work begins. I yeah. feel like when it does get hard and you do feel like mm-hmm. I just need to stop. It's the same like with really anything in yeah. life. It's like, uh, it's just too much. But no, that's like when it's working. Yeah. That's when the work's happening. Like learning to embrace. Of course the there work. are exceptions, yes, but yeah. like, you know, if it's harming you probably don't keep going. But. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's an exception to Something that. Right. Yeah. So looking back at like, you know, growing up and everything. I'm just kind of curious. So you said y'all do country music. Yeah. What kind of music were y'all listening to? And middle school wasn't that far away for you, but like, <laughs> like what kind, of, what kind of, what kind of music were y'all listening to in like middle school and maybe even high school? Yeah. <laughs> well, today. Yeah. So today I listen to country. I think I'm always listening to like country Christian. No, I always find it weird because like the the music you listen to in like middle school. Yeah. It's kind of like the music that you end up listening to for, like, ever. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, there are your, like, classic throwbacks. I can't think yeah. of them off the top of my head. Probably, like, The Wobble, you know, that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's probably what I was listening to. <laughs> yeah. But um, I think some, that's what Some it's musical called. theater. We've done musical I would say theater. musical theater, yeah. I would say I've always listened to country, probably, like, yeah. our worship music. Yeah. That's um, always been the go-tos. And yeah. then... Um, Always Dolly Parton. I love Dolly yeah, Parton. Yeah, I'm actually we do love her. <laughs> she's obsessed with her. Yes. Um, I love her. Like, Dolly Parton. I love her like resurgence yeah. right now. What was it like yes. meeting Dolly? Yeah. Well, I got to sing one of her songs for her for at her? Dollywood. Literally yeah. living by her. <laughs> 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 I, Did you like tell her to wear a GoPro? Like, I, like, like, I want to see it. So, <laughs> I want to be your <laughs> Dollywood is her theme park, so right. she would make appearances. Um, like off and on throughout the years. And uh, we held the big award show for all the theme parks um, at Dollywood. And it was my last day of ever working at Dollywood. And she was there at the award show. And she happens to be like where y'all are sitting to me right now, like Mm -hmm. is where she's sitting when my group, like my, me and my show are lining up to sing. And we sing all country music. Mine was a nineties country show. So I got to sing her song, Take Me Back to the Country. What a good one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, she is just as genuine as she seems. Um, the way she acts on social media and her posts, I mean, of course, some of that's scripted, but the <laughs> genuineness in her and, like, any interview she does, like, that's who she is. We filmed a mo- one of her movies there, and she went and thanked all of the elderly people that were out there being extras in the show because it was workers from Dollywood that were extras, yeah. but she went and thanked every single one of them and made sure they were okay too. That's Us too, but we're not the ones yeah. needing the extra care. Yeah. Um, right. But and she would like try and scare you, like be funny. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm telling you, she's just human. You know, right. I mean, it may not seem like it, and she does so much good in the world, mm-hmm. um, and I feel like she is a light. But yes, yeah, she's just as genuine as she seems. She's she's so itty bitty too. Like <laughs> sometimes, like I still remember when she was like. Looking at us, I was just like, is this, like, for real? Like, is that really her? Is this just, like, fake? And she also has her same little bodyguard guy that walks with her everywhere. And so. Holy cow. So how, how, did, you, how did you end up at Dollywood? Well, we grew up going to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee with my um, mom's side of the family. And it just kind of became a tradition on Thanksgivings. We'd always go up to Pigeon Forge. And Dollywood was always a place that we'd visit. And um, I graduated college. And I started auditioning for theme parks. And because I worked at Kings Island, I graduated early and finished school performing at a theme park in Ohio. And then I auditioned for Dollywood and then I got Dollywood. So so, um, I was really thankful for that. That's definitely I think that time made me who I am today, too, because it gave me a lot of time to figure out how to be like independent and Mm -hmm. like make a living for myself and, you know, budget money, all that stuff. So I'm not good at it. And, and living on a performer's salary isn't always, you really got a budget, you know? Yeah. 
So, wh- where'd you go to college again? Point Park. Point Park. What'd you What'd you major in? Um, I got my Bachelor of Fine Arts Theater Arts. So a little bit of okay. everything: directing, gotcha. playwriting, acting, singing, dancing, Sheesh. all sorts of things. <laughs> Holy cow! Yeah. So growing up, did you always want to be a singer, performer? Um, I, th- I th- so I, <clears throat> when I was younger, like you know, all, all the way, like, kindergarten to third grade. I was a competitive cheerleader. Like, I was like, okay. that is what I'm going to do for my life. A yeah. competitive cheerleader. You know, at that age, you're like, yes, yeah. that is what you're doing your whole life. <laughs> you will be a cheerleader. Um, and then I broke, I have a scar, but I broke my elbow, and I had nerve damage and palsy in my wrist. So that took about, like, a year to fully recover from all of that. Oh. And as an eight-year-old, I mean, like, that, like, really took a toll on me. I still remember I was, like, sitting in my room, like, crying, like, what am I – what am I going to do? Like, this Have is over for me. Yeah, like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> eight. The sky is well, falling. Like, you know, it's like everything to you. you know. Yeah. And I, ju- I took a little break, and I got just back into it. We were about to go to state, and then I messed up my arm pretty bad. Mm. Um, and then it was in middle school, actually, my middle school chorus teacher that kind of noticed I could sing. I mean, my our mom sings, so we grew up all singing in church together. And um, But I never really thought of it as, like, something I would want to do. Yeah. But she had me sing the national anthem for, like, the school over the intercom. And my mom's <laughs> best friend was the nurse there. And she was like, did you know Kitty sings? She sings the national anthem right now. My mom was like, my Kitty? Are you <laughs> She's like, is there another Kitty in the city right now? <laughs> I think you got the wrong one. Because I, I didn't tell her. I just did it, you know. Yeah. And um, it just kind of, I just found, like, my passion and my why through performing. And um, when I was in my junior year of high school I feel like this moment like solidified like everything like this is what I want to do in my life um I ended up having a cyst on my right vocal cord fold Mm -hmm. so I had to get vocal cord surgery which was going to require like surgery therapy recovery all of that so that took a year for me to like get my voice back so but I didn't like look at that time as like a negative it was really easy to go into that spot I was about to audition for colleges I was like trying to you know, figure out where I was going to go next. Um, And then all of a sudden, all of it was kind of like taken away. But my cousin told me, um, she said, there will be obstacles in your life and it's how you overcome them Mm. that define who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, you know what? This is not a negative thing. This is a positive thing. I'm going to learn how to get my voice back. I'm going to be even stronger with my voice because I'm actually learning how the voice works and like all this stuff. And like, you know, like, it did make me stronger, but not having like the opportunity to sing and the opportunity to perform because I couldn't, um, I physically couldn't just made me realize like, oh, that's a part of me I don't want to lose. And if God gives that part back to me, then I'm going to use it yeah. to make a positive difference. Yeah. Um, so I hope that's what yeah. we're doing. I'm yeah. reminding myself of this too, because some days it's harder than others to want to continue to just uh, sing. I know that sounds silly, yeah. but like sometimes, like sometimes you do want more of like a well, my brain does want like an everyday schedule, something to do every single day. Um, but yeah, that's definitely why I do it. We do it because we want to help others feel something, um, no matter what that may feeling may be. Because why do we watch TV? Why do we listen to music? Why do we yeah. watch any form yeah. of entertainment? Go to theater. It's to escape reality for a little bit, you know, yeah. and just yeah. feel stuff. To feel. feel. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was like, yeah. To feel. Just to, yeah. It really is to feel. I mean, yeah. I can laugh, cry, and mm-hmm. in one. 30 minute episode of a show, you know, exactly. yep. <laughs> I can cry when a song starts, you know, so, everyone relates to it in a different way. Yeah. Charlie, you mentioned earlier, like musical theater. Mm-hmm. We all like show choir kids too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I feel like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Were you show choir? I was. Yes! I was. So yeah, like, I don't think, I don't think I've ever that. said this one on air. So like my senior year of high school, so I graduated in 2012. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My senior year, my high school band director was also our show choir. Like she was our choral director and everything. And she goes, "I want you to audition at Southern Union." <laughs> and you were like, "And I was like, I was like, mm, you're right." <laughs> like, but I was a nerd. I did marching band in the fall, oh baseball in the spring, mm-hmm. and then like it, show choir and like I did like like the the basic chorus. You know, where you stand. <laughs> like, oh, it was it was wild. And uh, and so I was like, okay, yeah. So I went. <laughs> I went and um, I went and auditioned. Absolutely killed it mm-hmm. because, like, when we got ready to leave, uh, Miss Ann Caldwell, she's passed away now, but she was like, looked at my my band director and was like, "Can he pay for books?" Dang. And I was like, and like, I I'd already walked out, like, you know, thank you, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And uh, my my band director, Miss Heard, walks out. And she goes, "Can you pay for books?" I said, "Yeah." She said, "They'll pay for everything else." 
Wow. Dang. And like, obviously, it's a JUCO. It's two yeah. years. But like yeah. every other year, they go to um, Carnegie Hall and perform, too. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And so I, I'm sitting there, and I was like, man, that's really cool. And I was like, Miss Hurd, I have some bad news. And she was like, what? I said, I signed my letter of intent to play college baseball last, <laughs> like, last week. Ah. Sorry. Ah. But, uh, yeah, but, man, I, I enjoyed show choir so much. Yeah. Just the, the performance side of things. That's really you, cool. Like you said, escape reality. You get to be yeah. someone else. Yeah. For, and it, for it, a it, was, it was fun. Yes. That's it's cool. definitely, fun. like, it can be vulnerable, but it's a way of expressing yourself, too, I feel like. Yeah. So there's there's yep. good in it, too. In, in show choir, was the one role that you were like, I'm so glad I got to be that character. Oh, oh gosh. Well, my senior year, I was Dorothy from Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it was high school, but it was really special to me because my two best friends were like the Scarecrow and the Tin Man. So we so all had that moment together. Cool. Yeah. And we were like, I'm going to miss you so much. And like, we started crying the last show because it's like so real. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that one is fun. I don't know. There's been a lot of different things. Yeah. I've, so I've actually done the show Frozen twice. One at New Horizon in West Point, and then one time at Troop High. And so one time I was Anna, and one time I was Elsa. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was super fun because I got to like see like both sides of sisters. Anna has always been my favorite just because she's like more you. like me. And I'm more like Elsa, like yeah. I'm frozen everywhere. I know. That's how it is. Though. Build a snow. <laughs> Even like she was, I got to be Elsa. I got to be Anna. <laughs> Okay. I'm telling you, that's Anna. <laughs> yeah. And I so am also. Like, I'm doing I was like this. <laughs> channeling my inner kitty as Elsa. She was. Like, I could just be myself with Anna. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm thinking about everything. Yes. I can't freeze everyone. But being Elsa is really cool, though, because we had the cool, like, change to, like, my like, costume had, like, these buttons and like, stuff. And there was someone, like, there was this curtain thing, and then there was someone behind, and I would rip it, and then they would rip it behind. And so then it was, like, boom. Just the oh, quick. Sorry, just, <laughs> just the, the quick change right there. Yeah. Yes. And sometimes uh -huh. it would work, sometimes it wouldn't, though. No, it, oh. like, always worked, but it was, the timing was sometimes strange. Because, like, sometimes we would rip it on the wrong part, and it was when I was in the middle of a note. So I'd be like, let it go. <laughs> 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 but sometimes we got it on point, and that's what matters. Awesome. Because you were an acting guy. I was, yeah. Ooh. So Ooh. that same stage that you were on at True Troop, yeah. Yes. I did quite a few shows oh, in there cool. myself as a drama student. Yes. So that's cool. I'm all about that, too. I did. thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, so, that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, and n nothing big, you know, just kind of clash productions, but yeah. man, that murder mystery was Ooh. so serious. <laughs> I bet yeah. that was good. It was, it was fun. It was really cool. So. Uh, the excitement that y'all have about it, I definitely yep. have, and I, mm -hmm. I get it. Yeah, you, know, you know what I'm saying. So yeah, it's cool. It's like a it's like a drug, man. <laughs> like that, like performing, yeah. like like the rush of it's performing. A rush. It like, is. Oh man. my god! Like there was yeah. nothing. There was nothing more fun. So like, because I did marching band too, mm -hmm. and like you get one time to do it. Yeah. <laughs> And it's just like go, mm -hmm. yeah. And whatever happens, happens. Yep. You can't get it back. Yeah. And just like to make people feel good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To chase that, it's just like that's yes. the goal. You know, yes. for me, in rehearsing, mm -hmm. I would always critique myself really hard oh, about yeah. my lines that's and my <laughs> and my positioning and stuff. But mm -hmm. the day of the show is like. Hey, they don't know what's going on. No, nope. mm -hmm. no. Entertain them. Let's yeah. get it done, Let's man. Get it <laughs> Let's done. do it. Let's do it. I, I still struggle with that, and that's something I'm still working on um, is not critiquing myself so much because yeah. there were so many times I didn't give it my all, and I would feel so sad after because I let, like, such negative thoughts, like, take mm -hmm. me down, and I couldn't get past them fear. for, yeah, the fear and all that stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah, See, I that, always that's mask real. my fear with the character. Like, mm -hmm. they can't see me. They Good just see for you. Yeah. Yeah. I, that I couldn't do it. <laughs> I wish I would learn that. I think now I'm finally getting to that yeah. Yeah, point. But. It's not you. It's not you yeah, at all. Yeah, it's not me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To like embody the role. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Use like, it. We'll That's what they'd be on. like. Use your nerves. Use your fear. I'm like, but I'm, I can't. Like, I'm really <laughs> like it's not working. <laughs> This is me. <laughs> <laughs> I am nervous. I am nervous. I've never had to cry on cue, though, so I don't, I don't know. Ooh, I, never I had only to had to. I did some you film did. work, and I, yeah. Yeah. Don't, yeah, don't feel, do it the way I did it. <laughs> I feel like that would be That terrible. sounds terrible, but no, I would just, like, beat myself up, like, oh, gosh, like, you know, and then I'd cry. Yeah. <laughs> don't do it that way. So I say, you like, sitting there thinking, like, you know, Sarah don't McLaughlin cuts on, never. and the little dog is <laughs> reaching out at you, like, oh, God. Yeah, oh, don't gosh. do it that way. I haven't told anyone. 
probably not the best time to share that either. An exclusive? You're good. You're good. Never mind. Right here on the real PLC. You're good. Oh, gosh. So, so you said you did some film? Mm-hmm. Like, what, what, what's, what's in the works with that? What's going on? Oh, well, I did that. I, I had, like, an agent when I was younger. Nothing, like, big or anything, but just would send me auditions, and I'd just, like, self-tape and see gotcha. this Skechers commercial. I didn't get the Skechers commercial, but that was always a funny one. I was like, <laughs> I'm going to rock the hall of mine and Skechers. Skechers. And, like, they were all, <laughs> of course, like, well, it's because they were always around. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, she'd be at home and she'd be like, I'm about to rock the hall of my new Skechers. Yeah, I didn't know. get that one. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but the thing that got me about film is they were like, absolutely no southern accents. And I'm like, but I don't know what to do That's like my mom's know. back there reading and she has a more southern accent than me I feel like mine's come and gone with the places I've lived yeah but you know that was the hard part I was like how am I like I'm only like 15 or 13 <laughs> like, <laughs> do do? um but I, I did it for a little while with that and then I went to college and we they had a big cinema program there so I would do a lot of short films with students um I did some like extra work on bigger shows but it wasn't really where like I found like my like true calling I feel like my true calling is more like singing and performing where I can like where it is like a live show like you were talking Mm -hmm. about like it's like that one moment that you have to help someone feel something and in film it's like okay that wasn't what the director wanted let's do it again another way let's try it this way and it just wasn't it wasn't my like first love but I did enjoy it it was really cool and it was also more like subtle like you had to be more like it's just like the look looking to the left like it says a lot sense. like you know yeah. but for me being a musical theater I'm like yeah I'm gonna look to the left <laughs> so it was like so it was like and it just, <laughs> <laughs> so I that was just a struggle you know for yeah. me and I, I guess like even in our American Idol audition they were like yeah. we can tell you're a show performer I'm like oh yeah but isn't that <laughs> I was like isn't that what this is too like yeah. <laughs> everyone's been performing all day yeah so uh, people are crying like, it's be performing be performer yeah, so that was a struggle for me, um, going to Hollywood Week, just trying to find, like, well, how do I not be a performer? <laughs> it's right. like, yeah. how do I – I just had to find, like, a balance with that because being a performer is who I am, too, so I didn't, like, want to lose that. But mm-hmm. I was like, how do I tap into the real raw emotions while singing, like, a 90-second song? I was like, yeah. how do I yeah. do it? So. so you said earlier, two of six, mm-hmm. you had an agent, and you were doing some commercial work. Mm-hmm. American Idol, Miss Teen, mm-hmm. soccer, <laughs> parents. What's that? What's that structure like, man? Because obviously, it seems like it's pretty solid. Oh yeah, yeah. Talk to us about that. Our family, uh, we, we, we're definitely a solid family. Like, I mean, we are very blessed. We realize what we have is very rare, especially mm-hmm. in today's world, um, to have parents that definitely love each other and love yeah. their children and would do anything for us. Um, yeah. And, and also to have siblings that would do anything for each other because all of us are very busy. Like, yeah. my, my brother's on the soccer team. We have playing tonight. Four and, brothers. Yeah. So we're the only sisters and the rest oh, are okay. our brothers. Yeah, so, yeah. We didn't say boys. that. Oops. Yeah. I, just, <laughs> I wanted to set that up, too, yeah. because, like, that changes, yeah. too. So. And our other brother's in nursing school. Our oldest brother has three kids. And, um, like, our youngest brother, I mean, he's just interested in a new thing every single day. Cause it's <laughs> every week. Right now, it is wanting to be a, a boxer. A boxer. He's a boxer mm-hmm. right now. He, he's he didn't gonna, want to study stars, but now he wants to. No, 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 no. He's going to box. Oh, yeah. When he retires, he's going to become an astronomer. Hey. So, uh, okay. I'm like, well, boxing may ruin that. <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> we get hit brain too brain many times. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, I mean. I he's said, only 10, though. I'll let him have it. Yeah, let him have it. You know me, <laughs> My first night, I'm like, well, let's think about that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I support let's the Let's think dreams. about that one, Casper. I support yeah. them. If you but. get punched in the face, <laughs> you, go, you, you might see not stars. be able to You will see stars. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'll tell you them next time. I'll say, well, yeah. your dream will come true. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Um, but, yeah, all that to say, um, we're all very busy, but we're, like, we keep God at the center, yep. and mm-hmm. I think that's what keeps us so strong is that um, our love for God, our love for each other, and, um, I mean, we wouldn't be able to do the things that we do without them. Yep. And uh, if you've ever seen the movie, not the movie, the TV show Good Luck Charlie, it's like an old Disney Channel show, mm-hmm. that's like our family. <laughs> Very chaotic. Chaotic but loving. But they, they <laughs> love each other, yeah. and they would do anything for each other, and that's that's definitely us. Yeah, and I know that I wouldn't be who I am without my family because it, like – 
what I what I do for a living does make me travel a lot. Like if I decide to go on a cruise ship, I'd be away for eight months. And there's a yeah. lot that can happen in their lives in eight months. And I'm the second oldest, so the rest are younger. So I want to be there just right. as much as I want to like follow like my dreams and stuff. Um, so I know that I couldn't do it without them because if I didn't have their support and I didn't have their like belief in me and encouragement, then mm-hmm. I would have given up yeah. back when I okay. had the vocal cord thing. Like you yeah. know, but. Very, Holy we're God. very blessed, and yeah, like we very said blessed. earlier at the beginning, like family's not an important thing; it's everything. Yeah. And whether yeah. that's like not even if it's people you're not related to. I mean, oh yeah, everybody has family in some. Yeah, place. I so believe like, you that you have to have that support system. Like, yeah, family is like whatever you need it to be. Okay. That's that's what I like think. I truly mm-hmm. believe like, yeah, that. Yo, that's we, what it is. We were talking. We were talking about that in. Um, so I teach a psychology course this semester, mm-hmm. and we we're talking about having those social groups that you yeah. can trust. Yeah. And uh, I, I made a comment today. I was like, you know, you have your family, but sometimes you have the family, mm-hmm. yeah. the, those friends and yeah. fam- that, that come together. Yeah. And uh, and kids were like, well, what about, like, this person and that person? I was like, look, if they just tell you what you need to hear yeah. <laughs> and not what you want to hear, yeah. like, yeah. that's your support that's, group. Yeah, right? that's it that's right your there. Group. Yeah. You're not going to like them all. The, I mean, it's family. Yeah, like, it is. You're, exactly. you're going to fight sometimes, but yep. you're going to be there for each other at the yeah. end of the day. And, the, day, so, and yeah. the better that group, the, the better they're going to help you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And it sounds like y'all got a freaking awesome group. <laughs> like you got to. Holy very cow. Thanks. So we're we're very thankful. We're very thankful. University of Alabama in the fall? Yes, yes. sir. Roll time. And what are you measuring in again? <laughs> I'm, I'm measuring in news media, so I want to be like a sports reporter. Oh. <laughs> We've interviewed one of those. Oh, really? Yeah, Kevin Eckleberry. Kevin Eckleberry. That's cool. He's like the the local. Um, oh yeah. You've probably you've probably seen him out yeah. and about. He he does some Springwood sure stuff yeah. too. Yeah, he does. Um, yeah. Because yeah. because right. we had uh we had April Ross of BTV mm-hmm. on too. That's cool. So, yeah. Connections. Yeah. Yes. Connections. Interesting. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the plan right now. But like, I mean. Like I said, I can't go for anything. So um, that's. <laughs> but I'm excited about the major because, like, I feel like I can go a lot of different ways. It doesn't have to just be sports reporting. It could be something like this. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I mean, like, I have a podcast right now. It yeah. could be something similar to that. Right. Um, and so I just really wherever. I mean, or I could end up just ditching that and singing with Kitty. You never yeah. know. Like, depending on. I want her to have her like college no, experience. I, yes. She's got. I'm going to college. Like, <laughs> I'm going to college for sure. Like, yeah. great scholarships. I want to have. I want to go. I want to study yeah. that, that all of that. Um, but who knows, like, where God is going to lead me one yeah. day? Whether it's more down that end or doing a little bit of this, a little bit. Yep. I don't know. I feel like I can already see like a news clip of. <laughs> like a crowd going crazy at UA's campus following you like oh my god she actually oh, goes to school with you <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's definitely going to be an adjustment though because Springwood is really small and Alabama yes. is really big yeah, yeah. yeah. I went Pray to a me. small school after a small school so yeah, yeah. No. yeah. golly so UA has a Publix on campus what yeah who has a public school campus? UA. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, Charlie, I don't is know. Is that where go shopping is going to be like? No, what do you yeah. want to pay for the public? Like, what, <laughs> which one is Publix? The That's, shopping is a Publix, or is that Kroger? We're shopping oh, Publix the, is the green P. Yeah, but yeah. what's their catchphrase? I don't where know. Where shopping is a pleasure, I think it's Kroger, uh, right? Never mind. Never I don't mind. Know. Y'all just think I don't, know. I don't know. But I like, like Publix. I'm more of a jingle person. I don't know catchphrases. Just do it. Just do it. Yeah. <laughs> but don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna rock the hall with our new sketchers. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Everyone gets sketchers. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't think that's a popular I seen thing. Sketchers in so long. That's it, we're all getting sketchers. I was supposed oh, to light up one. I, I feel like an old man. Like I have I have like two pairs of like sketchers at you the do. house right oh, now. I'm so sorry. But, I didn't mean that but, to but they're but they're like super comfy. Yeah, that's what and they like, say. And like if I'm like like if the, if you wouldn't know, like if you weren't looking and like I didn't say anything, you'd be like, oh, those are nice. Like, like yeah. you got the memory foam in them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bro, I stand I on my feet. All, like, yeah, come on exactly. Now. I'm you not. Know, I'm not we, hating on Skechers. We used to yeah. sell those. For, y'all don't know this. Coach Rita and I used to work at Belt together. Oh, yeah. I worked in the shoe department. He was kind of all over the. I was jack of all trades everywhere. But yeah, we used to sell the sketches. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. So That's, I, I, there's some nice sketches out there. They have come out a long though. way. They have, oh, sketches have yes, come a long they have. Way. Yes, they have. That's all I got. I'm gonna incriminate myself. There were some times like I'd see like the old guys like walk in. They'd be like, "Man, I, I swear by these sketches," and I'd be like, "All right, what's the hype?" 
Yeah. And I like walk back to the stock room <laughs> and like find my size and like put them on and be like, mm. all right, but they kind of, yeah. 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 per- perks of the job, I guess. <laughs> right. <laughs> Got it, man. Trying to sketch your, this, yeah. Those dogs ain't barking right now. Let's <laughs> go. Nope. So, why why University of Alabama? Um. Well, <laughs> just curiosity. Well, see, I'm kind of a Georgia fan. So oh. a big a Georgia fan. Big Georgia fan. She refused to say "Roll Tide" on the tour with everyone else. She didn't. <laughs> <laughs> not publicly. I just didn't say it. Whenever she I didn't. Trust me. She didn't. Because when I went to visit, I was trying not to like it. I was like. Mm-hmm. Trying, really trying not to. Mm-hmm. But there's just like everything that they just kept showing was just like God telling me, like, yeah, this is for you. Yep. This is for you. This is for you. I was like, God, for real. Like, come on. She's like, <laughs> don't I'm, show me another I'm, thing. Like, I know you're laughing at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Can we follow my plan just one time, please? <laughs> <laughs> but um, so basically, with the Miss America organization, Alabama gives a presidential scholarship to all the state title holders. And so that's why I visited Alabama mm-hmm. because I was like, okay, got a really big scholarship already. Got to yep. go visit because college is expensive. One yep. six kids. Yeah, I was about to say. Anyways, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So I went and visited and I ended up loving it. And yep. after that tour, I was like, okay, I'm only applying to Alabama. Like I'm not applying anywhere else. Um, and so I did. <laughs> and so you then um, that yeah, that was it. I mean, their communications department is awesome. They have yeah. a digital media center in Bryant Denny. Uh, which is really, really cool. Yeah. Uh, and so I'm just, and I also know um, a lot of my friends go there already. Yeah. My best friend's going, we're going to room together. So um, it just felt like just ev- all the pieces mm. just started to fit together. Not, I would have never, like 12 year old me would have never said, I'm no. going to the University of Alabama. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely not. <laughs> just study, I, I would have never like thought that I would be studying news media yeah. either. Honestly, 17 year old, uh, you probably wouldn't. No, 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 no. But now, 18-year-old yeah. has changed. Yeah, it has changed. But I'm um, super excited. Yeah, and I'll be in their honors college, too. So um, Congratulations. Thank Holy. you. Charlie's really intelligent, too. <laughs> Jeez. Maybe we should have like, started with that's what, what she can't do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. I was that trying to... I can't dance short. at all. <laughs> no, she <laughs> actually cannot dance. I'm really uncoordinated. <laughs> like, you did theater? Like, my yeah. mom and I... No, like, my mom and I were concerned for shows. would be like, Charlie. <laughs> so uh, thankfully like most of my roles were like the you know more singing and so they would just kind of give me a little arm motion so with charlie she's just like just like spastic spastic you know like it's like call, my family calls me the hulk um, yeah that's <laughs> probably probably should have I'm they, just kidding. Why? I mean, they say like I, I feel don't like know that's mean she, of us. No, to be like, I don't. I don't care. She hugs, they make fun of me all the she time. She just hugs really tight, like you know, like it hurts. And then, like, <laughs> I like accidentally like ripped the doorknob off one time of the door because I was I didn't know it was locked and I was trying to open it. Our front door. door. The front door. Our front door. Charlie smash. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so she's just like. Like her movements when so it was graceful, it would just be like harsh. <laughs> like you know, you just yeah. like, it like puts your hand up, but it'd be like bam. Like, like a, you know, so. You're just like a ball of energy. Yeah. yeah, that's the best way to put it. Like holy cow! I love life. Like who needs ca- awesome like who, life. like who needs caffeine? Just like talk to Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> I did drink coffee this morning. <laughs> oh god. <good. laughs> good grief! Help me. I'm driving. Don't worry. Awesome. <laughs> Squirrel. She loves me. That's why I'm nervous. I'm like, I gotta take her places before she goes to college. I'm <laughs> <laughs> nah, she's got really strong morals. I know nothing's gonna happen, but I'm also like, I need to let her see what life is like. But yeah. then we go and sing at like bars and stuff, so she's gotten the feel for yeah, it yeah. all. <laughs> Not people are, for me. <laughs> people, yeah, just stay out of it. I never yeah. went. So mm-hmm. Not my fave. <laughs> no, I had a I had a friend, so I play college baseball. And so me and one of my friends, who's actually at my wedding, uh, we uh, we were kind of doing Uber before Uber was Uber. <laughs> and so like we would just like show up to like the the baseball parties and we'd be like, hey, if you need a yeah. ride, like we got you. Yeah. And so yeah, like, we had awesome. a we had a system out. So like we'd both have our cars at the party, and so <laughs> we would drive the other person. Like so let's just say like it, it's like you know Tommy over there. Yeah. Tommy would be like, hey, D Reed, you got me. And it's like, yeah, I got you. Where are your keys? Here's my keys. So I would drive his car. My boy Bradley would follow me. And so I'd drop <laughs> off Tommy's car. Yeah. They'd pay us, like, cash. Wow. They'd buy us lunch Dang. or dinner. That's or, nice. like, whatever, like, our soda of choice was because we were, like, the – we were like the grandpas of the team, oh, and so that's like, awesome, though. like, that's there, like there, like there would, like there would be days where like roommates would like come down and be like, D 
dude, why do you have like five cases of Dr. Pepper? And I was like, stay in your lane, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, bro. Like, hey, Dr. Where? Pepper, though, that's where it's yeah. at. I Safety love first. They'd be, like, they'd be like, hey, yo, uh, where, where are you going? It's like, oh, you know, Tommy's going to take me to like, you know, hibachi. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. awesome, though. That's yeah. really important. But, yeah. but talking about, like, just, like, college, I'm just sitting here like, oh, gosh, college was so much fun. It was, yeah. I, I had fun, but, it, God, it was – when, when you were you – but, but, but when you got the right Castle. people – but but when you got the right people, like, when you're surrounded by, like, that yeah. group of friends, like, mm-hmm. that's, God, I wouldn't yeah. change for that's anything, man. I'm, I'm grateful my best friend is going because yep. we're very alike in our morals yep. and things. Yeah. And then uh, there's Church of the Highlands. Do you all know Church of the Highlands? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's where, that's where a, Point had our graduation. That's really? where I graduated yeah. from. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love that. Uh, but we love Church of the Highlands, and they have a campus in Tuscaloosa, so okay. hopefully get plugged in there, maybe like yeah. start leading worship and stuff. Um, Thank you. That's, that's what I try to like stress to her, yeah. is like, I I went to school in Pittsburgh, so it was way different than, yeah. <laughs> than our small town or around here, so like, it was hard for me to find like a good group, and I am around performers, which mm-hmm. I mean, everyone has all different kinds of morals and everything, and that's completely okay, but it yeah. was hard to find someone that had the same ones as me so that's what I try to stress to her is like I wish I had that and things might have been a little bit different right. and so like I stress to her like mm-hmm. just do it just find that group find and, your people and mm-hmm. find yeah. your people and stick with that because yep. that's going to help you through like a lot of things and she's yeah. she's really good about that so so was college the furthest away from home you'd ever been yeah that was 13 mm. hours away I I visited the school once and I kind of just got like that feeling it was like a student day and I got to sit in some of the performing art classes and you know college was different for me than most people like <laughs> like I took one math class okay and like whichever <laughs> one I wanted so like you know Monday just, morning she had a makeup class <laughs> yeah you had stage makeup like you know what? like so but there were also our homework was different it was like you have a monologue and you have to have all these emotions and you have to do it tomorrow like you know what I mean or like you got to memorize this script which sounds silly but it's like our schooling was different it was like mm-hmm. you got to get with your friends and you got to put this whole like play on and it's due next week like you know so it was just like a different kind of like schooling but like you know gen eds were like one and done like yeah. you know? <laughs> so, so it was different but I, I visited once and I met my roommate that same day and mm-hmm. everything like she said just kind of like felt good like I felt mm-hmm. like a feeling of home I felt like a feeling of peace even though I was far away from home yeah, right. nowhere near home no grass in sight um <laughs> no grass in sight but she also had vocal cord surgery too, and I was just still coming off of that. And so we just kind of, my roommate and I, that's kind of like one of the reasons I wanted to go to. Um, but yeah, I visited once, and the next time I visited, I was moving in. So yeah, I did oh, that. Oh. <laughs> I cried when my parents hour left. Check. Damn. Yeah. 13 um, hours. Yeah. Crazy. It was so now you're crazy. the only girl at home. Yeah. What's that like? <laughs> I'm it's back fun. for a little while now. Yeah, guys. she's back now, but for a long no. time. For a long time, oh, yeah. it's just me and the boys. Um, <laughs> but I mean, I get along with my brothers very well. Um, yeah. They, I mean, because we we have like sports in common, so yeah. um, mm. we we we'll go out and play soccer together. Yeah, um, I'm not very good at video games, but I try to play with them <laughs> because they yeah, like see, the video I don't. games. <laughs> Call of Duty, Fortnite, like all this stuff. I try. I really try. But I'm really bad at FIFA. I'm bad at FIFA too. Um, but, <laughs> but I really do try. Um, but I love. I love having brothers because, yeah. I mean, I they laugh at me because I like to punch them and stuff. But, like, I mean, <laughs> but um, the guys they at really... school will be like, don't punch me, Charlie, don't punch me. Don't <laughs> but they, they make me who I am, Charlie's too. Like. <laughs> and my brothers may be younger, but they're definitely still super productive of yeah. me. And it's it's really, it's sweet. Um, my When I lost a soccer game earlier really this week and, like, sen- you know, senior season's yeah. over and everything, my younger brother, uh, he's 15, he was just so sweet to me, and he's not yeah. very like emotional. Like Cooper's just he's a man of few words, but very, he was, <laughs> very. <laughs> but he was just like the kindest I have ever seen him mm-hmm. to me, and so it just it means a lot to have brothers that yeah. love you and support you, and they also really get into the pageant stuff. Like they do, they get it's crazy. They get it's almost like a sport trying. with them. They're like, okay, well you're up against this girl, and she's got a really good talent, and then you have this. <laughs> like yeah. your scout yes, my brother, you're giving me the scouting report. Yes, my brother. My brother Cooper would text me all throughout Miss America Week because we all went with Charlie. Yeah. Um, and he was like, that girl just gets my nerves, that one right there. He's like, Miss <laughs> So-and-so, she's just fake, man. Like, like, it's like Cooper, calm down. I'm like, first of all, it may be a little scripted, okay? They they work all they their practice lives. A lot. So, like, they practice a lot for this. Holy but. cow. 
Yeah. It's funny. But it's, it, I love how into it they get. Like, yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be as fun without them. They're yeah. super supportive. Like, last weekend we had a, a show and we were running a little late. And um, my mom, like, parked the car and she was like, boys, get out, grab the equipment, let's go. And they didn't even, like, <laughs> grab the yeah, cars. Grab the cars. Cars. We all just grabbed the stuff and we left. And then my mom, like, had to move the car because cars were, like, getting we were upset. In the but, like, you know, <laughs> you make it work. They didn't right. think twice. They were like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> so, yeah. Holy cow. Love them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. See, I, I'm a I'm a girl, unit. I'm a girl bro, so like oh, yeah. so like all I have are sisters. And like when you're talking about like being protective, I'm like mm-hmm. I joke with them all the time. It's like, what's it like having like secret service as a brother? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, our, I, I would probably be the one that'd be like at the pageants, being like, you can kick her butt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do it. That's yeah. how like especially our older brother. I think yes, he's, Cannon he's, gets really. My, he's in nursing school. Yeah. Well, that's not my older brother, oh, but yeah, Cannon's younger ben? than me. I was talking about Ben. Oh, but, I'm sorry. But Cannon <laughs> Cannon's is, older than me. Cannon but, is your older brother. Ben is older. He's you my younger brother. I'm sorry. But, but I say, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's. <laughs> I was just saying that like. Ben's very protective too. Yes, about things, Ben is so. as well. <laughs> Sorry. I'd be, I'd be like, you just like, if you wink, I'll take her out. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you gonna get that dub? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Got you. Break it. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Go do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh God. Are there? Do we have any plans, or do we already have some established public, uh, published music from you all out there? Not yet. We're getting to that point. We like. We have a really good family friend who's just kind of taken. She's been with us through like a lot of things, especially with pageant things. I did, I did, I competed in the pageant she did too for one year. It wasn't my thing. Um, <laughs> she didn't like interviews. Interview makes me cry, so I didn't cry today, y'all. Um, oh. On this interview, <laughs> I've grown up a lot since then. Okay, it's, it's I was only seventeen, it's eighteen. This us. But um, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, just y'all. But yeah, she's kind of taken us under her wing and kind of has become like our little. Agent, and she made us like our, um, and she does it all from like love in her heart for us. She doesn't ask for anything, which is really incredible. She's an incredible human too. Um, But she's kind of made us a little marketing plan. And so music is coming soon, a kitten char, everything, social media is coming soon. Um, Right now it's still like separate uh, because we both have a following. So we were like, we don't want to mess that up yet before American Idol. But um, um, But, um, but yeah, so that's all coming. We write yeah. stuff. We just, we just wrote a sister song together. Yeah. We've um, never written a song together till last no. week. So. And mm-hmm. it's funny because our personalities show in that too. Because I'm more of the thinker, you know. So I'll, but she's better at writing the lyrics, and I'm better at like the music. The music. Yeah. And it's. But we were talking about our strumming. Like Charlie is strumming, you know. And I'm like, <laughs> like hers is like I can't strum the way she does. I can't I'm strum the way like, she does. And I'm like, how do you move I your hand that fast? I like, think strumming like Charlie. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's me. It's yeah. still great, and the songs that she and plays so and, and makes up on her own like are great with her strumming. And then my strumming is, I'm more of yeah. the slow sad. And it's funny because I just, <laughs> I just like will think of things. So then I'm like, we're sitting there trying to come up with lyrics, and so I'm just like spitting out random stuff. And, and she's like laughing just... to herself, like, <laughs> and I'm like, because <laughs> like I got one line. Like, oh, this one's so stupid. <laughs> like, like why are you laughing? <laughs> yeah. And then she's like sitting there, like has to like sit alone and like come up with the lyrics. Yeah. Like, it's very it's gotta, it's gotta like, like, I feel like it's gotta like, me like hit me like in a way yeah. that like. I can work with it. Like, yeah. I, like sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm feeling this way today. Let me see what I can come up with. And yeah. like, so yeah. I just had it this, takes like, me a long time. I just had this image of you like sitting there with like some sound canceling, <laughs> white noise playing, and just like, honestly, okay, yes. yes. And here I was we go. In there laughing. Yeah. <laughs> I just got like pure chaos. <laughs> <laughs> it, it makes a good song though. We didn't yeah. know. We're, I, I'm excited about it. Yeah, I find. <laughs> yeah, I'm still working on some parts. Just but. A, <laughs> no, but we're going to record soon and okay. hopefully get some original stuff out there, some covers mm-hmm. of things that we do. Yeah. We, it's all we have a lot on our like social media pages too. Okay. So. Yeah. No, where where can they where can they find you on social media? Oh. I would be mine is Kitty H Key. So like K I T T Y H K E Y. Yeah. Okay. And I'm Charlie Bell Key. Um C H A R L I E B E L L K E Y. Did everyone get that? Did everyone get that? Because just, I didn't. You're just gonna have to like pause individually. <laughs> but if you Boar's find yeah. if you find one of us, you'll you find the one. other one. Yeah, because we're tagged in all the other. We're, okay, trust cool. Me. And then you yeah. you mentioned the podcast earlier. So yeah. talk oh. talk to us about the podcast. Like, yeah. what, what's y'all side like? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, so I started BLI when I was 15 mm-hmm. um, because I so I've, I've grown up in church okay. um, and I've always you know known God and loved Him, but like things 
things there is a point where you really start to like form a relationship with God and yeah. so um it was kind of during COVID like quarantine shut down because I've always been a super busy person yeah. and so then all that was taken away and I was like what do I do? It was like tor- <laughs> that was torture for you. Yeah. Like, yes. <laughs> what do I do? So um, I, I like, yeah, I just started. I don't. I don't even know how it really started. I just started like reading the Bible more and then like praying more and then just I really started to realize like God wants an individual relationship with all of us. Like He created us because He loves us. Yep. Um, and so I really just started to dive into that and dive into who He made me to be because at the time I was doing pageants. I started mm-hmm. when I was thirteen, um, and. I realized that like I can't show the judges who I am if I don't know who I am. Ooh. How can I interview if mm-hmm. I don't even know what I'm telling you? I'm just making stuff up. And so um, in order to find myself, I had to find God. And so uh, I went through that whole process, and I just realized, like, I just started. The more I got to know God, the more I saw the darkness in the, that there is in this world. And I was just mm-hmm. like, man, like, I just wish people could see, like, your life has purpose. Like, mm-hmm. you can accomplish the things that you want to do. Like, you were made individually the exact, exactly the way that you are for a specific purpose. And, like, your job is to let that light shine. Yep. Um, and so Be a Light's focused on Matthew 5, 14. You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. And I always say that, like, you you don't become a light. You don't become a light when you become more perfect or when you just start doing everything right in your life. You already are a light, and so you just have to step into that and become increasingly aware of the light that God has given you by just being who he made you to be. Yep. And so that's the goal of Be A Light, is to um, interview people who are like, <laughs> telling their community. That, she leads a Bible study, too, at school. That is... I, yeah, so, it's grown in a good way. Ministry. I didn't mean yeah, that in a negative yeah, way. Yeah. Yeah. Look, that, that's like... That's just certified audio gold. Like, holy cow, just... <laughs> Yeah. Thank Holy you. cow. Yeah, but I started that um, back then, just started interviewing people that I met throughout pageants or mm-hmm. just in the community that are lights, um, similar to what y'all are doing. Yeah. I just want to, and that's another reason why I want to go in journalism. I just want to share people's stories. I yeah. want to share the good things that there is in this world because mm-hmm. negativity Man. sells. I mean, yep. That's why yeah. I feel like so yep. many people just harp on the negative it's because it's easy so, to be negative. It's so much more easy. Yeah. yeah. There's no work. There's no effort. Yeah, there no. is no effort. I'm in a bad mood. I'm in a bad yeah. mood. I'm going to complain yeah. about it all day and I'm going to yep. share all the awful stuff that's going on in the world. Yeah. Like, why can't we share the good? Because yep. there is good. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, and there's good in every single person. Yep. I believe that. Um, and so I want to be able to share that. And, yeah. and that's that's the goal of Be A Light. It's grown into, got a Bible study at my school with girls. I uh, got, uh, I mean, I speak sometimes at schools and churches and yeah. things like that. And just stuff like this mm-hmm. is just where my heart is. <laughs> I love it. This is so um, cool. This is so good. yeah, if you want to follow Be a Light, uh, follow, yeah, follow uh, Be a Light, Be a Light yeah. podcast on Instagram, so, see, yeah. or, or <clears throat> Spotify, all the everything. Platforms see, too. I yeah. I too am a, a firm believer that like people are putting your like in your life and your path for a reason, and mm-hmm. it's it's ironic because in my in civil rights this morning, mm-hmm. we were talking about uh, just like stories and how people's lives can influence and how yes, as we're both history teachers, like mm. our job is to tell stories. Yes. Yeah. And so um she loves I, <laughs> so like I, I have a note taped on my desk and it's like everyone has a unique story. Will mm-hmm. you listen? Yeah. yeah. And That's so good. like this yeah, this mm-hmm. this was I'm glad I'm glad this happened. <laughs> Me too. Shout out shout out to right Serenity here. Graham for <laughs> hooking us up. Okay, like, <laughs> oh man. This yeah. is yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I, I'll say it's it's tough to make me speechless, but like that that's powerful. Mm-hmm. Um that that is very powerful. And I I'm sitting here, I'm like, man, when they blow up Whatever God's will is. I'm I'm gonna yeah, go I'm gonna go back and be like Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we we talked to him. <laughs> we got to talk to him, yeah. Be a light. Yeah. yeah, that is yeah. awesome. Be a light. That's so simple. Mm-hmm. It is you know, it's that's just purpose. Hard. As soon as I opened the, the glass double doors and I looked to my right, they were standing there, and I instantly lit up. Yeah. Because they were already lit. You all were already being that light yep. that you, you already oh, are. You. Yeah. That was it's amazing. I yeah. appreciate that. that means a lot. Yeah. To yeah. me, that hits me harder wow. than I guess it. Yeah. Like I feel like sometimes it's you go through daily life and being a bigger sister I don't I guess I don't always realize like the impact that you can have even as simple as like opening a door and you greeted us with a huge smile. I know you did I was, and like, I was oh, like I know I was like okay we're good Charlie we're good like <laughs> we're gonna get through this yeah like, it's gonna be fun not that we yeah. were scared but you just never you know. never know yeah. what to expect so yeah. I was like right. but yeah. Yeah. y'all are good people no. appreciate yeah. it y'all's Co- light shines so bright Coach Williams is the man um, look he, he's, you guys feel comfortable he's, when we're talking I about know, like, right. he's yeah. so humble and he would never say this but like 
So last night was our was our baseball senior night, mm-hmm. and we asked like you know the the seniors to choose like influential teachers. Yeah. And I guarantee like out of our six seniors, I probably said his name like three times. Wow. Yeah. And then like when you like when you go to any like senior night activity, like this like this guy's the name mm-hmm. that you hear all the time, and I'm just That's like awesome. like dude, so. Yeah. That's really awesome. Like I'm yeah. saying, you never know the you impact you have. Yeah. Yeah. So. And I like, think it's, I mean, like you were saying, like it sometimes gets like, oh, am I really making an impact? Am I yeah. really doing yeah. anything? But like that in and of itself shows that you do. Yeah. And just, right. just the little things, like yeah. just literally just living through every single day life, just trying yeah. to bring joy and positivity to other people. That's all that matters. Yeah. Really. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. we get caught up in trying to accomplish things or trying oh, yeah. to um, <laughs> be the best and just do all these different things. But really, if you, if you, Dumb it down. I mean, dumb, not. I don't know. Lack of better words. I just, mean, that's, just make it simple. Yeah. If you that's make it. it simple, the yeah. purpose is on on this earth is to be a light. Yep. Yeah. In in the midst of a dark world, and yeah. both of y'all are doing this through. Yeah, the life. y'all are doing that. Yeah. I'm gonna start listening because this is awesome. <laughs> I can't even. Yeah, I didn't know about this, but now we're gonna. Do this. So so I told y'all a little bit about the story before we went on air, and mm-hmm. so uh, you know, like hearing you talk about like you just being ultimately just like your authentic self. Mm-hmm. And, you know, finding, like, your purpose and yeah. then just being authentic and real with it. Um, we wanted to do a podcast last school year. Mm-hmm. And uh, and it was, once again, it was kind of structured around our Black History program. And uh, and it was just kind of, it we, we just couldn't make it work. Yeah. And uh, we ended up doing, like, a town hall, like, mm-hmm. right next door in, like, the mm-hmm. production studio. And uh, that was phenomenal. And some mm-hmm. way, somehow, I got rope doped into being, like, the the... <laughs> The host of it, yeah, because um, he's the bomb. That's why. Because he's awesome. That's that, why I paid him to say that. Um, <laughs> um, no, but it was just uh So then this year, one of our assistant principals, Miss Lovett, came up and was like, "All right, y'all start thinking about what y'all want to do." And um, Coach Williams, I was like, "I want to do a podcast. And I want to interview you." And he was like, "I'm only going to do it if you interview me, though." <laughs> and I was like, "All right, bet." And so. Uh, and then when we sat down, we had Dr. Walker on. Mm-hmm. Um, he's like our big HR guy up at Central mm-hmm. Office. And Coach Williams was like, can I sit in with you? I said, man, I love you sat in with me because I don't know him like you do. And uh, he got bit by the podcast bug. And he's been here ever <laughs> he's since. He's been here ever since. And, uh, <laughs> and so, Your interview's still going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, we, we've sat in and, like, we just, like, we finally got to do his interview. Yeah. Yeah. And, oh, uh, I, I, you know, the, the fun thing about doing this is um, when you're in this setting, like, you – you have no choice but to make yourself vulnerable mm-hmm. and yeah. real and yeah. be authentic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, like, I'm sure that, like, you could sit here and, you know, put on a fake face or, you know, and, yeah. like, play it. But, like, eventually you're going to get, like, worn down and you're just going to be like, all right, this is me. Yeah. This yeah. is real. Yeah. And here you go. Mm-hmm. And, like, man, the, the conversations, like, when, when we – it was just me and him when we did his episode yeah. and, like um, – and the crazy thing is, I'd already heard it like three times because yeah. we'd tried before and like it just didn't work. <laughs> um, but yet, I still caught myself in here like, man, we 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 laugh, we cried, we laugh some more. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, Coach Williams, he's, he's like he's like a he's like the big brother I, yeah. I never had. Like yeah, I love this guy. Yeah. Um, and so you know, it's a Your family. He's, yeah. he's, fr- he's Your family. family. And uh, sure. you know, so but hearing you talk about just keeping it real and just being honest and just being that light, um, man, it's yeah. It's just when you start to realize how much bigger the the picture is than than you yeah. realize, and that's yes. that's so much fun. You, but then it's also scary because you realize like how little you really are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Look. So I'm the older sibling. So <laughs> like I'm the thinker, and I'm just like, yeah. I'm like, man, this this could be really big. Then I'm like, I'm so small in this thing. Like how <laughs> yeah. how can we make this? Like yeah. how can I really? And so. Uh, Kudos to you, because I don't think I could have done that at, like, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, like I, I think I was I, just too dramatic, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I, guess, no. I guess I'm in the right career, but I yeah. feel like I was just like, <laughs> the world is so hard, you know, like, at 15, 16. <laughs> yeah. I just, but it's a, man, y'all y'all are just, y'all are phenomenal humans. And Thank the world, so ne- the world yeah. needs more phenomenal yeah. humans. And, uh, man, I'm, I agree. I'm speechless. Like, this is, this is awesome. And, and they don't happen often. <laughs> So, um, so for me, because I, I've enjoyed myself. But is there anything that either one of you have to say to the students walking in Callaway High School, or the students from other high schools that will tune in and listen to this episode mm-hmm. about just, just keep going, mm-hmm. because 
y'all are just grinding. <laughs> y'all are just going, and it's like like a message of hope. Yeah, like yeah. you've you've had reasons to say no, stop. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I could let me do something else. Or, yeah, but mm-hmm. that that motivational hope message, I guess, I'm just, what I'm asking. Yeah, I feel like. I feel like for me, like my kind of life motto, it goes back to what I said earlier, like there will be obstacles that are in your life and it's how you overcome them Mm -hmm. that define who you are as a person. And that kind of keeps me going because obstacles can be big or small. It can be like your car didn't crank this morning or something. It can be something small, you know, but it's just like how you face that and how you Mm -hmm. look at that will determine how your day will go too. So I would just say like, I don't know, Charlie. Now I'm stuttering. So no, you're doing help. good. Oh, you're doing great. Yeah. I tried to like, I tried to like put it all in sense. one word um, or one thing. Just like, you know, like no matter. W- Charlie always says that like I've overcome a lot of things and I've yes, like, you definitely and I have put myself out there a lot, you know, and taken those risks and mm-hmm. things like that. And what kind of keeps me going is is number one, like God. I do feel mm-hmm. like like just trusting Him and putting my trust in Him. Um, but it just goes back to that same thing. Like, yeah. it's just how you overcome the obstacles that mm-hmm. define who you are. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Exactly. struggling on that. I'm trying yeah. to figure out no, what I'm trying no. to say. No, what you're saying makes <laughs> yeah. absolute sense. Like, because you... It's been a while since I've been in high school, too, yeah. so I'm trying to, like, think of... You've just kept... I think, using you as an example, you've just kept going no matter what, like, life has thrown at you, whether it's mm-hmm. your broken arm or your vocal cord or just hard things in general, like, about everyday life. Mm-hmm. You just keep pushing and you keep going on. And I think... I mean, I heard... The, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I heard the <laughs> other day uh, a video of Nick Saban talking about embrace the hard. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. Because when you embrace the hard, that's when you grow. Um, yeah. Embrace the uncomfortable. Embrace the 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 bad class that you're walking yep. into, and you just want to yeah. get out of that class. Because I have I have those classes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm like, well, she can probably relate like more to like yeah. high school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But lately, what's just kind of been sitting on my heart in regards to that is like. Don't wish your days away. Don't wish yeah. your years away. Yeah. Like you walk in, you walk in the school, you walk in Callaway, Lagrange Troop, wherever you are. Um, you walk in there and you're like, man, like I just want to get out of here. I can't wait to graduate. I can't wait to be away from all this. But one day you're gonna look back and be like, oh, who did I sit next to in that class? Like, yeah. did I impact their lives? Like, yeah. was I a kind person? Yeah. Was yeah. I a light for them? Was I myself? You know. And I think that a lot of times in high school, there's a lot of people that are gonna maybe want you to change who you are because it's different or it's just you know I mean if but like I was thinking about this earlier if you have to change yourself to be friends with someone mm-hmm. then that's not a friend worth having yeah, yeah. Nope. it's not a friend worth having <laughs> because if <laughs> with that's, anything that's, right? yeah. that's such a like that's one of those things like there, there are adults on this planet that don't understand yeah. what mm-hmm. you just said <laughs> Like, holy it's true, cow. though. It's very Jeez, true. And, and the same with whether it's a, a job or just some some sort of area that you really want to be a part of. But if you're having to change the core values of who you are for that, yeah. then yeah. it's not worth it. Yeah. And so when when life gets hard or when you're having to um, – or just things just seem chaotic, whatever it is, like I think that at the end of the day you have to come back to who am I. So yes. first of all, like just know yourself. Yep. And I find that in God. Like I find yeah. myself in knowing God, and I know not everybody is yeah. a person of faith. Yeah. Um, and that's okay. Yeah. I mean, just finding something for you, whatever yeah. that is for you. Yeah. For me, it is God, and it can be nothing else. Yeah. Um, and so just being able to find yourself and be able to stand firm in that, be grounded in that, be confident in that, yeah. because you're going to walk into a lot of spaces in life where you're just, you feel very small or you feel like yeah. you're not going to measure up or you're just, you're uncomfortable, but you have to be confident in that. And also just don't be afraid to like let life mess up because sometimes <laughs> it just messes up. Like, I mean, there's just nothing we can do about that. Life is hard. The bad things happen. I need to hear that. And I just... <laughs> she, she <pissed. laughs> She's preaching now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going on no, the No, no, no. I know where I'm going. Girl, you but, keep going. <laughs> but mm. don't be afraid to let life mess up because it's going to happen. Not everything is going to be perfect. I'm preaching to myself right now, too, because I need to hear this. Um, I need to hear it I'm today. I'm preaching to myself a lot. <laughs> but for real, like, life does mess up, but you're not big enough to mess up God's plan for your life. Yeah. And, mm. like, you, I mean, you may say, oh, should I do this or should I do that? Whether, whether you think about college or whatever it is, you're not big enough to mess up that plan. So as long as your goal in life is to to serve other people okay. instead of serving yourself, to love yes. God, to love his people, mm-hmm. then if you're keeping him at the center or whatever that is for you, you're, mm-hmm. you're staying true to who you are, 
then even if you walk down a path you're not meant to be on forever, that's okay. It's teaching you something. Yep. Yeah. You're yeah. learning you learn something, something from there. everything. And yep. then you from move every on obstacle, to the next thing. Every... It's not that you've gone down a path that you shouldn't have gone down. You're going to learn something and you're yeah. going to grow. Um, and so I don't know if that really answered the question, but uh, at the end of the day, just above and beyond, keep uh, going. Yeah. <laughs> um, How do I simply down. say <laughs> yes? <laughs> Holy cow. No, yeah. A lot of truth wow. in there, sis. Are you, are you speaking at graduation? <laughs> I don't know. I got, I, Holy if cow. I'm salutatorian, she better or something, be. You know, know, but we'll, we'll, we'll have to fight. Yeah. Remember, we have to fight later. <laughs> Just we'll see. We'll see. No, that is but. that. That's so powerful. There's no. I'm sitting here and like I know you said she she's 18. I'm just like there's no way that's an 18 year old talking. She, that was the Lord because I don't know where that came from. Yeah, like, I don't, that's it girl, too. You, it's not just all. Girl, I don't you, know where that came from. You blacked out, became a vessel right there. That's what you did. <laughs> well, I was praying he would do that, but Holy for real, because I don't. Oops, I, that's stuff that I needed to hear right now. And I was yep. like, oh, okay. Well, it's all yeah. No, reminding myself. She says a way of like saying it to others, yeah. you know. And I think that's a gift. I think everyone has yeah. gifts. So, right. Um, mm-hmm. Everyone's blessed in so many ways, and they have certain things that they bring. And like everyone is unique, everyone has their own talents. Like no one is yes. the same, and that's for a purpose. There is, everyone is meant to be on this earth for a reason, and yep. they're, and it's for many different reasons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but I do think that's one of your like gifts oh, is yeah. is that is to be able to, you just say it in a way that I can like relate to and understand and mm-hmm. like. You keep it simple and yeah. you keep it real. That's what it is. Yeah, because plain is just plain. It can be yep. it can be complicated. You know, it can be yeah. like really confusing at yeah. times. But there are people, and you're one of them Thank that can help you and yeah. understand just, it. When you like sing, you're just I don't know her face. Just I don't. She's I know you're to like no, <laughs> like, I'm never talking yeah. about yeah. no, like, I know. And when you speak, I'm too, joking but with I'm, you. I'm, being so I'm not eloquent right in my like, speaking. Yes, you are. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just trying yes, to crack a joke. No, crack a joke. I'm sorry. You just kidding. You've dropped a lot of gold. This, this, in this conversation, like Thanks, you've done very good. but I'm just saying, like, if you've ever seen Kitty sing, like, she really feels the music, and she, I don't know, there's just something, there's just so much authenticity in yeah. her eyes and just the way that she delivers it that really does make you feel something. And like she said, that that's that's why she does what she does. Yep. She wants to make people feel yeah. something, and so um, it's the it's the older that. sister wisdom. That's what yeah. it is. It's the older sister, it wisdom. older sister wisdom. Yeah. It's my big eyes too. And that helps. <laughs> <laughs> So are we gonna? This, this has been awesome. Are we gonna? Are we gonna get a preview here? A preview of us of, of, of y'all singing, singing oh something. Oh gosh! <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know if warmed up. <laughs> you want to know something funny I, though? I she had to put ask. Hers over Char and right. I put mine. <laughs> I, I know. I'm not gonna lie. I did notice that, and I was I was like, I wonder if that was on purpose. It well, wasn't. She actually she, like, she, she just put her name and so I was just like, like okay, put mine over. <laughs> <laughs> Real sibling. I was just being silly. Not, not everything is perfect, life. guys. Trust right. me. <laughs> We're not perfect people by any means. Not at all. But, but I think, Golly. I mean, one of my friends from, like, the pageant world, she always says, you can be imperfect, but you can still be impactful. Yep. And so um, yeah. I think that, sorry, I took it deep there. You know, no, no. Look, <laughs> look, I promise you, if you go back and listen to any of our episodes... Getting real and getting deep is a common occurrence. Yes. <laughs> it is it a, is. Um, you know, I thought of this, what you said earlier about, you know, you have to experience some kind of like discomfort, like it's, it's okay. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I've said this, I, and I have to remind myself of it, is like one of the most beautiful things that we have on this planet and, you know, people, you see it, pearls. And the only way you get pearl is for the little bit of sand mm-hmm. yeah. get inside and just irritate them. And just yep. I'm just going to be re- irritate the piss out of it, mm-hmm. and finally, because I mean that's what it is. Yep. It's it's irritated. It's mad. It's trying to get that sand out, and all of a sudden you get a beautiful pearl. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So in order to achieve that beautiful thing in life you want, sometimes you got to go through a little irritation, yeah. a little mm-hmm. little discomfort. Yeah, you exactly. have to. That's how yeah. you. That's how you grow. That's how you're gonna. Um, and that's embracing the. That's embracing yeah, the hard. Embracing, embracing that that yeah. difficult time and, and understanding that how you respond. It's how not, you respond yeah it's not always yeah. like i know that i have not had it as hard as other people have had it yeah. and mm-hmm. i'm i'm aware of that and i'm thankful for that but like i just believe that everything happens for a reason yep. like some of the stuff sucks happens to people yep. sorry i don't know if i'm allowed to say sucks no yeah you're good <laughs> like you're good it's like it's really terrible but like in a way like it helps them be who they are today yep. and i know that I don't know if that makes much sense, but like I see that I see that in our dad. Our dad yeah. mm-hmm. 
didn't have the best childhood, no. but it's made him who he is yeah. today. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. um, my boyfriend had a really bad childhood too, but it's made him the father he is today, like the, the parent he is today. So like, yeah. you know, it's just like, you know, everything happens for a reason. Yeah. It makes yeah. you who you are. The rough stuff, the yep. irritation, yep. that makes you who you are yeah. today. So no, you so. stepped in an uncomfortable place after uncomfortable place. Pittsburgh, <laughs> Ohio, yeah. Dollywood, yeah. all the things, and it just all it, over. But it's Florida. The, it's the are. event plus your response that equals the outcome. Mm-hmm. Amen. That e- was good. There you go. It's E plus R equals up. I wish I could take credit for it. I can't. Ah. I, I read it somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> But it's you know what? whatever the we'll event is plus it. your response equals the outcome. Yeah. That's really good. Because I mean, the, the, I feel like the whole conversation today has just been, what choices are you making? Exactly. Yeah. And you know, and that that's the response, and whatever response it is, that's going to be your outcome. And exactly. and understand whatever that outcome is. It's up to you to figure out what the lesson is. Yeah, right. Right. And, it's, and it's okay. We're gonna mess up. Yeah. We're gonna pick the wrong choice sometimes, oh, yeah. and like yeah. that's okay. You just it, like oh. I said, you just learn. depends on how you yeah. learn from it and overcome it. So. It's not. It's not if you mess up. It's, it's when you mess yeah. up. Yeah, you're it's right. When. It's when you mess up. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure I'm gonna mess up today. I don't know what it's gonna be, but. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I got I got some kind of fun questions for okay. us here. At okay. The end. All right. Um, because this is I, I'm just. There's a lot of times where these conversations, I could really care less if anyone listens to it. <laughs> I'm just like, it, I dare say like 99%, because saying 100, people are going to be like, that guy's crazy. But it's really, 99.5. But yeah, 99.95, like eight. <laughs> eight repeating. Um, these conversations, I, they're, so, they're just right on time. Mm-hmm. There's always something where I'm just like, Thank you. But yeah. we say that after every conversation, mm-hmm. and it is so genuine, I, man. It is. I can man. relate to that, For too. Real. Like, with the podcast yeah. interviews that I do, it's like every time yeah. I interview someone, I'm like, wow, like, she just said what he said, or he just said exactly what I need to do yep. right now. You like, know, we, it just hit, gets you. We have never, and I'm sure the day's coming, because it's not if, it's when. <laughs> We've never had a bad interview. No. Mm-hmm. Never. And so, golly, yeah, y'all got to open invite. Well, it's just, like, I, it's so, just sitting so down and connecting too. It's I just think. fun. It's so much yeah. fun. Um, and and I and y'all's stories, they're just getting started. I I, I feel it. I, I mm-hmm. it's I feel like y'all y'all are gonna do great things. So, before because I'll, I'll get emotional. I'm a big teddy bear. I'll cry. Um, and I and I'm an ugly crier. Um, oh I get all, I get Charlie all, laughs when she cries. I get all puffy. <laughs> I get all puffy and red. I feel uncomfortable. I don't like yeah, yeah like. Crying. So then I we laughing. cried after like, well, we our American Idol yeah. audition, but she was like laughing halfway through. And we j- had like, I don't know how long of an interview before we even did the audition. Yeah. And she was like, I don't cry really at all. And then every single clip after the audition was <laughs> because it's so much built up anxiety. <laughs> and then it just was all released in a moment. And then also the interview is right after your audition. She's so they don't oh, so give you like, time to like decompress. Right. Yeah. But it's, it's a like TV show, you know. Into right. the dark room with the American Idol lights and they just drill you. I can see you're feeling emotional right now. Tell yeah. Good. They did that. Yeah. 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 I, I think I said one time. I shouldn't say everything I say sometimes. But he he was like, you said in Nashville, this is right after I just got cut from Hollywood Week. I had been mm-hmm. exhausted. It had mm-hmm. been like, like I told my mom, I was like, I'm just exhausted. Like, I could cry, like, at the drop of a pen for no reason. I'm not upset. I'm super yeah. happy. I'm having fun. Just raw emotional nerves. Yeah. yeah. Like. And he was like, you said this meant, like, so much to you. How does it feel now that it's all gone? And I was like, well, you know what? I wasn't going to cry, but I guess now I am. Maybe that's why I didn't get on. <laughs> interview probably didn't make it i was like are you kidding me like i'm not gonna cry but now i am so thank you i was trying to be strong here how would you feel if i came off this chair and just (laughs) (laughs) i was nice after i gave them what they wanted but like like i know the lord says vengeance is mine but this one's mine (laughs) no i was just like i wasn't gonna cry but now i'm crying like why i'm trying to hold it together i'm trying to go home it's freaking bullies I don't know what we were saying. So, li- little little fun questions for oh, yeah, you. Sorry. All right. So, no, you're good. I don't uh, know what I was talking about. So, little fun. So, if you could have, you can get a time machine, and you can go back in time and spend a day with anybody, alive, past, whatever. Who would it be, and why? Charlie's so going someone in the Bible. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Well, Jesus. Just, Peter, Peter is cool. Peter, I see. Like, I knew she was going to say something like that. So I, I don't know the answer. 
rid of so many people. Like I knew she'd struggle just, with this when I tried to send <laughs> her y'all's little guideline. I did. <laughs> prepare her. She, she's like, not, look, see, prepare for everything. I read through it. Them. I just forgot about this question. Um, well, I'm going to go Dolly Parton just and, because okay. uh, she's classic. classic. Um, but no, she just, her rags to riches story no. is just, it's inspiring. And then the way she gives back to her community. Like, she has, oops, she has every reason to be, like, not care. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Because she's she's made a huge name. Yeah, herself. she's, yeah. she's yeah. made so much money. She got her own theme park. Like, in the world standard, she has every reason not to care about anybody else. Mm-hmm. She yeah. does. And that's what's so inspiring to me about mm-hmm. her. And also... Everyone just seems to love Dolly. Like yeah. mm-hmm. the people from totally different political backgrounds, like just everything. Everybody just loves Dolly. And yeah. I think the reason for that is is she just loves people and yeah. she loves what she does. She is that light. She is the yep. light. And so and so she just she brings people towards her. And yeah. so I think that's so special. And I would love to go back and talk to her when she was first starting her music career. Yeah. yeah. Um, because that she so she, she, I read her little autobiography, um, but basically, right after high school, she moved to Nashville on her own, like after growing up in the mountains yeah. and not knowing anything. So she just she moved to Nashville and just I mean, met her husband the first day, um, but <laughs> at the laundromat, uh, um, as you do. <laughs> but anyway, that's, that's normal. Yeah, just normal. go to the laundromat. Yeah. No, but she just I guess she just started. You know, she just started going for it. And yeah. that is so, it's so inspiring, especially as a woman back then yes. in the country music industry. And yeah. so she yeah. helped pave the way for so many other female artists as well. Um, and so she's just such an inspiration. And I want to, I would love to go back and say, what is going through your mind? Like, why do you think that you can do this? Not that she can do it, but no, no, why? Yeah. What makes, Keeping like, you, what's what, making you believe What was that driving yeah. factor? Yeah, yeah. what is yeah. that drive? Um, just not from her perspective now, but from her perspective back then. Yeah. Um, when she's still in the midst of it all. And I think some of that is honestly in this nonfiction book that she wrote about um, a struggling country music artist that came from yeah. a, a really hard life. It's called yeah. Run Rose Round. It's a really good book. Okay. But I think I feel like there's some ties toward yeah. to her own life and that through that character in that book too. Gotcha. So yeah. What about you? Goodness, I was gonna say her too, oh, just because I can do no. someone else if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like so like for me that's like I don't know why it's such a hard question, but like just the simple questions like that always trip me up, and I'm like, but it shouldn't even be that complicated, Kitty. It's just who do you want to hang out with? Yeah. <laughs> but but um, oops, but uh, I was gonna say her, but I also like think of other like country music singers and it doesn't necessarily have to be like a country music singer you know what sadie roberts said now that i think yeah. about it i think i'd want to hang out with her i just <laughs> thought about that um i listen to her podcast a lot but her brain just kind of works the way my brain does like any podcast she does um she's like yeah well my brain's telling me i'm worrying about this or doing this or like she's an enneagram six i don't know what if y'all know what enneagrams are but it's just like a personality I was about to say, I've, I've looked at them but yeah. I, not <laughs> enough <laughs> and i'm a six too so yeah. just like the way her brain works is the way my brain works so i i feel like i'd want to just like spend the day with her and i think she's an incredible person too and could just instill so much wisdom into me and guidance with things yeah. that I'm struggling with. I'd like to open up to her. Like, you know, <laughs> just be, be like, therapist for the day. Yeah, yeah, be my therapist for the day, but also have fun because I think she has such a great balance. I feel like she's a mix of me and Charlie. She has that balance of just living life to the fullest, yeah. mm-hmm. but also still struggling with like anxiety and things like that. Yeah. And like, and I'm like, how does she do that? How does she still just like live each day to yeah. like the absolute fullest and like mm-hmm. find that joy in every single thing? Um, so, yeah, I think I'd like to talk to her, too, and spend the day. Heck, yeah. Mm-hmm. And Jeez. Cy Robertson. <laughs> yeah, then you can meet the whole Robertson <laughs> family. <Yeah. laughs> and her kids are precious, so might yeah. as well. <laughs> family reunion. I'm sure they live on a bunch of land, too, so that'd be cool to yeah. go oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they have some fun, like, four-wheelers or something. Wheelers. like you know. <laughs> For sure. Mm. So, still in my kind of time machine questions. Mm-hmm. You can go back to like an impressionable age where you just needed just that little bit of guidance. You can give yourself that guidance. Do you tell impressionable you who you are and what knowledge bomb do you drop on them to, to kind of keep them on the on the path? Ooh, that's a tough one to me. Do you want me to go? Do you want to go? Sure, I'm sure you already got something planned. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Are you asking what age I would go to? Well, you, I mean, if you want to, or just like, okay. or just like a general, yeah. like time, like. I think I think I know. I'd probably go to like middle school, like seventh grade or something like that. And I think, hmm, I think I would tell them who I am, but I wouldn't tell them any like them me. I would tell me who I am, <laughs> but I wouldn't tell me anything about me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I would. I would tell them, "Hey, I'm older you," but I wouldn't. I wouldn't say this is what happens in your life because I think that everything I've been through, good and bad, and all the um, just growing to like find myself and find God, I think that that happened the way it's supposed to happen, and I, I don't want to change any of that. Yeah. yeah. And so I think I would just tell seventh grade Charlie, um, just be a little more confident in yourself, yeah. <laughs> and also um, just to keep doing what you're doing. Uh, and like I said earlier, like. Don't change yourself for for friends or for whatever it is yeah. because if you're having to change yourself for something, it's not worth your time. Yeah. yeah. Um. And so just, I would really just give younger me some encouragement, but I I would not tell everything that happened because yeah. I don't yeah. want I don't want seventh grade Charlie to think, oh, well, American Idol is gonna happen, Miss <laughs> yeah. George is gonna happen, so but I'm it just, probably I'm wouldn't chill. have happened if yeah. she knew exactly. Yeah. yeah. Because I wouldn't probably wouldn't have worked for it mm-hmm. as yeah. hard because I would just think that it's it going to come to you, you know? yeah, and then it would not happen. Yeah, so. that's true. Ooh. Oh, gosh. Well, now I'm, like, rethinking my thing. I was like, let me <laughs> go back to this time and let me tell myself this is this. And I'm like, but then again, I wouldn't be who I am without it. Um, but I'd say definitely, like, my college years. Um, I don't like to use anything as, like, an excuse or anything, but, like, I just got in a really bad relationship, and it just – pulled me far away from like who I was as a person, um, made me argue with my family, you know, things like that. But so I think I'd go back to that time and just like y'all were, we were all talking about just like, be careful with who you hang around. Be, I'm not like, a, I didn't get, like yeah. Yeah. I'm not a bad person. I didn't do drugs or anything like that. But. <laughs> <laughs> Just makes you a for, bad person. For the record. Yeah. For the record I'm saying, like, it just, <laughs> let's just say, like, that person was very manipulative and yeah. narcissistic, is how you say it. Yeah. And I, I, like, forgive that person. I don't, like, you know, I just hated that I gave a person so much power over me and yeah. so much power over my worth. And it's at a really bad time for that to happen. It's college. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, but, like, I just stuck to it because yeah. his family was there and I felt like that was like, I loved his family. So like I loved mm-hmm. family, you know, so right. I attached to that and I didn't want that to go away. Yeah. So I stayed with the person, you know, so I think I would just like go back and tell myself, like, listen to the signs a little bit earlier. Don't, don't stay in it as long as you did. Like, um, you know, be aware, listen to the, listen to what God's telling you, listen to that feeling in your heart that's yeah. saying like, something's not right here. Like, you will survive without it. Like, it'll be so much better without it. But then again, I don't, if I hadn't had gone through that, I probably wouldn't have been who I am today. I wouldn't know what to look for in a relationship. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't have had to go through finding myself again, which could have been more beneficial than mm-hmm. what I thought. So, mm-hmm. so yeah. yeah, I feel like I'd do that. Yeah. yeah. But I wouldn't, I would still want to go through a little bit of it yeah. just so I could like <laughs> learn, yeah. lesson, learn those lessons. Like get out a little Because then I, because <laughs> then that could have happened like, later on in life like right now and like yeah. you know so you never know yeah, yeah. Mm. That's good. I, I always like the hindsight questions yeah mm-hmm. kind of make you reflect yeah. a little bit mm-hmm. yeah so when you you reach the the end of career life whatever and you look back at everything how do you hope you're remembered what kind of legacy do you want to leave I don't care. I don't care. You always look at me. I feel bad because I feel like I've just been like jumping in, so I'm just. Well, you're saying good things, so you should continue. (laughs) (laughs) Somebody's got to go second. Okay. Okay. (laughs) It gives me time to think. Yeah. Yeah. I thought plan. I think that's it. You want, but um, I think at the end of the day, people are gonna forget everything that I did. People are gonna forget, you know, every. They're gonna, they're gonna just forget it. Hold on, let me start over. Okay. Just re- yeah. rewind. 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 <laughs> people are gonna forget everything that I did in mm-hmm. my life. But at the end of the day, I want people to remember me as someone who was able to bring joy, someone who was able to be a light, someone who made people happier throughout their day. And it doesn't matter at the end of the day if I, if Kit and Char makes it in the music industry or if I make it as a sideline reporter or whatever it is. It doesn't matter how big those things get if I'm not being a light. And mm-hmm. so at the end of the day, 
it doesn't matter where I am or what I'm doing. I want people to remember Charlie was alive. Charlie pointed people to Jesus. And sometimes, I mean, like you've told me this before, you might be the only Jesus someone sees today. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and so just, I, I want people to remember that. Yeah. yeah, or the only good. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. just something good. You may be yeah. the only good thing in someone's life that day. Yeah, yeah. Um, for mm. me, goodness, I had a bunch of things, and then I was listening to you. <laughs> um, okay, this that. is it. Like you kind of yeah. went off that, and Charlie and I say like we want to make people feel something. I think that's what you were saying. Like, yeah, you, it's all feelings that you named. Yeah. And Maya Angelo, I say Angelo, but it, people say Angelou, and I don't know the correct way to say it but tomato, that's okay tomato tomato tomato, tomato, tomato. But <laughs> <laughs> i went to the north and they said lou and then i'm down here in low is yeah, yeah. say it but um i may say this in the wrong order but it was my senior quote and it says people will forget what you said people forget what you did but people will never forget how you made them feel mm-hmm. and i and i truly believe in that and i yeah. think that's why you named all feelings too because no one will remember what i did and yeah. sometimes i may not want them to remember what i did <laughs> or said yeah. but you know like i i want I want people to remember how I made them feel. And I and I and I love taking care of people. So I want people to think like, oh, Kitty took really good care of me. Or yeah. she um she made me feel happy. She made me feel confident. She made me yeah. like, you know, she was a light for me. So I think it kinda goes like what what you were saying too. I just want mm-hmm. people to feel like good things when they yeah. remember me and like mm-hmm. the fun times, the good yeah. times, yeah. not not the hard times. Unless you're learning from me. So yeah. you know. Fun. Well I'll <laughs> always remember how good I felt. Yeah. Well, when you me. guys walked into Callaway High School, <laughs> put these headphones on on the real PLC. So I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thank yeah. y'all. We'll always I've, remember it too. I've I felt joy. I felt <laughs> like just that heavy. Yeah. Uh, this is <sighs> right on time. That's, That's what it's just right on time. Right on time. Right on, right on time for us too. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, like I, I like really like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Recently. Awesome. Yeah. You know, everyone struggles with things, but recently this is this is what I needed. Something good for the heart, from the awesome. soul, for the mind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all are awesome. To remind me of things too. Yeah. Why I'm doing yeah. it. Why yeah. my why in life. So yeah. I uh I'm a big quotes guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, even like on my baseball glove. So I, I coach baseball and softball mm-hmm. here too and I just have um why do you do what you do? But yeah. I just have it just, you know, mm-hmm. why do why, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. it's just it's just my little cue yeah. like just whenever I'm in that little funk, yes. mm-hmm. just, all right, hey, why are you doing exactly. this? Yeah, mm-hmm. that's, what, the, what's that's your true. Why? And it's, just, it's that, goes, that grounding. Just Everything yeah. in life goes back to that, too. Exactly. Like, the more I think about it, it's like, why do you love the person you're with? Why do you love your family? Why do you, like, you know, anything. Yeah. It like, all goes back to why. Why do you love yep. your career? Like, why? Like exactly. Yep. Like it, Gotta know your it why. It gets you out of that you funk because yeah. it's so easy to stay in the funk. And, and like, like we've, like y'all have been saying the entire time, when you know your why, it's easy to be a light. It is. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's actually the first question that I ask everyone on my podcast. What is your why? Because that that is the driving force. But and the cool thing is, you can see it in everyone's lives. Like yep. when whatever they say that their why is, you see it in all the things that they do. Yep. Yeah. Um, and I think it's just a, like you said, it's a good reminder of like when you get in that kind of funk. Mm-hmm. It's a reminder of this is why I'm doing it. And yeah. then there's another quote that's like the the two most in the two most important days of your life are the day that you're born and the day you find out why. Mm-hmm. Well, I think that's a good one. Yep. That is a good one. Have you seen the one where it's like you go in the cemetery and you have your, your birth year and your death year, mm-hmm. but what really matters is the dash in the middle? Yeah. Yes. Uh, <coughs> yep. That's a good one. Yep. That's true. That. Yeah. So, well, look. We're we're on our planning period. <laughs> uh, the, the bell rings at 140. <laughs> look. I've I've thoroughly enjoyed this more than y'all know, thank and uh, and thank you yeah, for thank you for thank being you. vulnerable thank with us and just yeah. sharing your story. Um, we here at the Real PLC in Calvary High School wish y'all nothing but the best. If thank there's you. anything we can ever do, don't hesitate to let us know. Um, we're we're definitely gonna be cheering. Yeah. Hey, thank go y'all. on Kit Char, <laughs> thank uh, Char, and you know we're we're super pumped for everything, and, and we know y'all gonna do great things. Thank so y'all. so thank y'all for y'all. coming yes, in. Thank you, so, thank y'all. Uh, we appreciate it. Coach, you got anything? Uh, I don't. Just be a light. Like they said, be a light. light. Be a light, light, light. everyone. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for uh, listening. We we hope you all enjoyed it as much as we did. Um, Thank you to Kitty and Charlie for sitting down with us. And uh, meeting's uh, meeting's over. So make sure you sign the sheet on the way out. When we come around to your rooms, we better see it in action. Peace, everybody.